Music video Vibology, and here she is, the hot and sensational and charismatic Paula Abdul, everybody. <laughs> So little, so adorable. Hi, Paula. How you doing? Good. Welcome back. So, 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 so cute, you know? So cute. Paula Abdul on a major tour around the country tonight at Jones Beach. Tonight and, and tomorrow night. night. Yes. But do you have, have nice weather for it tonight. little injury in the knee? It's all hear? better now. Oh, you had good. surgery, right? I had arthroscopic surgery. Oh, did you? Yeah. Just like the athletes, huh? Yeah, just like the athletes. That's well, a quick, have to do that. quick mend, it's isn't it? Quick mend good and you. being a dancer, it just, you know, knees get out on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have bunions? Most dancers no. I've seen, most ballet stars have bunions. I mean, they're, they're on their feet so much. When I was doing point work, I had really horrible... Horrible and they went away? I thought they lasted for a lifetime. No, you have to really work on them. They go away. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. You'll have to tell me how to do that. <laughs> so, Paula, so many things happening what to you. What a year. The commercial, the tour, and marriage. That's mm? right. Emilio Estevez. Yeah. That seemed to happen pretty quickly. Yeah, because Emilio was here and not a word, right? Not a word. Not, not a, a word. word. Had yeah. you been dating a long, long time? Um, actually, I've known Emilio for two and a half years. I didn't know that. Um, just friends, and we just started dating. Before he came on the show, we had already been dating for a while, but it was like, shh, don't tell anybody. No. <laughs> you got to keep something for yourself. He's just the most, it's the most wonderful thing that's ever happened in my life. He's that's a wonderful true. man. What a family you've married into. Was it a uh, big wedding, small wedding? Or we actually, it was, <laughs> we were planning this big wedding, and then people had found out about it, mm -hmm. um, like the press. Mm -hmm. And so it was already announced where we were going to, have the wedding, so oh. we decided to just go get married at, at the Santa Monica courthouse. In the courthouse? In the courthouse. In front of a judge? Yep. Do you take this woman? <laughs> were you nervous? Oh, we were really nervous. It, it was a pretty funny day. I didn't, we didn't tell anyone. We ended up telling our folks, and that was about it. Uh -huh. Wasn't it also during the time of the L.A. riots, too? You know what happened is uh, the riots broke out the day we got married, <laughs> and it was a really sad it w ended. It was a most wonderful day, but also a very sad day. And so we're going to have a big party celebration on the tour. Oh, One yeah. of these days. That's right. You practically yeah. went right on tour then, right? Yes. And, and he's got his movie career going. That's so right. Where is he right now? He's right now filming in Los Angeles a, huh? a movie, a very funny movie called Loaded Weapon. Do you uh, talk every night on the phone into the wee hours of the morning? Every day, at least four or five times a day. Oh, really? See, they're still Communication. in love. Communication. Still in love. I hope three months, and we're still in love. They said it wouldn't last. Uh -huh. So you haven't had a honeymoon, really? We're going to take a honeymoon as soon as he finishes wrapping and I finish wrapping up this tour. Mm. You keep saying it. Mm. Okay. Mm. So we are. Well, so far, so you've practically been all over the world, right? I know you were an enormous hit in Japan, and you had the concert going on over there. Shall we take a look at you in action there? Sure. All right, this is how she enters on stage. This is Japan, this is part entrance. of... Paula Abdul's tour. Let's go to the videotape. a different person up on stage, isn't it? Because it's funny to sit here with people and watch 
the, their show with them, and Paul Abdul burst out laughing right there. You know? Betty, what you do to me? You really put it through to me? Is Ooh. That... Ooh. <laughs> you know, that's what I gotta do. And incidentally, Gil, really? I want an entrance like that when I come out. <laughs> I want to fly, and I'm flying in the air. Ooh. You don't want to pay the production cost. And I want a biker's hat, too. I like that. So it's you. hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to mount a show like this, isn't it? It has to be. And more. And more. Yeah. And yeah. more. Yeah. Expensive. Where else have you been on your tour? That's why it's almost a year that I'm touring. Yeah, sure. You sure. get to advertise. It's been the best experience, though. It really has. You sound very strong vocally. Have you had any problems at all along the way? I've never had to cancel a date uh, due to losing any any voice. Uh, the only few dates that I had to uh, miss were due to my knee. Mm. Yeah. You know, so I'm knock on wood. And you, you don't lock yourself in the ladies' room anymore before you come out? You've gotten over the fright. I got over that. Good I got over you. the stomach problems Good. before the show. And I hope you get over yours soon. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to show you, Paul, a little bit of her new commercial and how they made this commercial. Right back in a moment. <laughs> Still ahead on live, best-selling author Jackie Collins. <laughs> Not since my Pepsi-Cola commercial has there been so much talk about <laughs> No, but it's a beautiful spot, and I think it airs tonight for the first time, Premier right? Tonight? The, tonight. the Diet Coke uh, commercial. This on is the, the latest one. No. During the Olympics, it premieres you're everywhere. Maybe you're everywhere. right, probably during the Olympics. During the Olympics, it's also on all the networks. <laughs> That's right, it's going to be simultaneous, <laughs> each network. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bombard the nation. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, uh, this is really quite a spot, and uh, of course, the introduction of um, past stars uh, within the framework of the commercial gets a lot of attention uh, and, and a lot of recognition. And this is what you've done with yours, right? You've got yeah. uh, Jane Kelly, who is still with us. Thank goodness. Yes. Yes. Uh, Cary Grant and Groucho Marx, Groucho Marx, all in, in one spot. And Jean Kelly is your all-time hero. All-time right? hero, idol, I love that him. It had to be a thrill. Everybody's hero. I, you can't even imagine what it was like when Diet Coke approached me to dance with him because I've modeled myself after him, and, and to be able to do this commercial was like a dream come true. Now, you know what they have done here is that they've used a clip, I believe it's from Anchors Away, right, where he's dancing with Frank Sinatra, and they kind of put you alongside of him so that you're... Looks like you're dancing Yeah, a little bit Jane. of pressure to, to do justice oh to Frank God. and Jean. Oh, yeah. oh uh, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a, a look at here. A little preview of the Diet Coke spot you'll see tonight. Why don't you and me do some fancy stuff in the night? Oh, You know, there's a certain, I don't know, a certain sparkle, a certain look to those, to those stars. Do you know what I mean? That you're just Tremendous hard, to, elegant. hard to find today. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience working on that course. Now, let's talk a little bit about the behind the scenes. How long did it take you to make this spot? Well, for Diet Coke alone, it was about at least six weeks preparation time for them. Six weeks to prepare, to learn the dances, to oh, learn... No, for me to learn the dances, they, the first thing when they approached me, I said, well, the first thing you have to do is send me the isolated footage that you want me to learn, because I've had a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I had to learn the exact timing when Frank Sinatra and Gene Kelly would look at each other mm -hmm. and That'll apply that right. yes. to the Diet Coke song. Mm -hmm. And... It took a long time, you know, to get every little step mm -hmm. right. And then the not just another pretty face. <laughs> All right. And then the actual shooting? The actual shooting was six days. We shot here in New York. No kidding. Um, the, the stuff with the icons, um, I had to, they would have, uh, like for Cary Grant, for example, pouring a Diet Coke bottle. It was actually a champagne bottle, and they had to make it into a Diet Coke bottle. And I had literally, a, t a, they put a happy face saying, this is your eye line, this is Cary Grant. Mm -hmm. And it was a mechanical, just lever that went, mm -hmm. and you had to and follow it. it. Follow it, yeah, so it was quite tricky, but it was a lot of fun. We have a little, just a few seconds of what it looked like behind the scenes. Let's roll that right now, and you'll and see you a little bit what she's about. talking about. And there you are, working out. Mm -hmm. It must have seemed strange for you to be dancing and looking like you're dancing with him, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
I had a great, uh... Now, there it is. Now they're going to put it together. Look at that. Isn't it just incredible, isn't it? Now, there's Frank and Jean, and of course... Right. Now, on, on one of the takes, they had to get the right shadowing. So I have a wonderful assistant named Bill Ball who actually learned the footage with me, and they used him for reference to match the shadowing to put on Gene Kelly. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. People have no idea how much goes into all of this, yeah. the final product. And I got a kick out of all, uh, on the tape, they also had you working with Groucho or, you know, his facsimile, and there were Groucho's eyes and a little mustache, <laughs> and she had to look precisely at that spot for, inspiration. for it to match. Well, well tonight... Got a dynamite <clears throat> show. Yeah, and it Thank looks you. like a great commercial, Paula. So anyway, tonight at uh, Jones Beach here in New York, next month you'll be home in uh, Universal Amphitheater, right? At home and also being a wife. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Congratulations. Paula, thank, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Really happy for you. Paula Abdul will be back with our amazing, justifying skills.